I'm just doing it now so I don't have to make a stupid intro about it because I always do stupid intros. But but what about the cartoon houses software? We're running out. We're running out of cartoon houses. There's, there's, you know how many cartoons there are? That doesn't mean I know all of them, Waffle. <laughs> that's, that's a skill issue to me. Fuck you. I did SpongeBob the last time, and nobody said how good that editing was, so fuck you guys. That's crazy. Thank you, job. And I edited the bubbles. I edited the bubble. Fuck you guys. I don't care. Sorry, my little sister just threw a ball at my forehead. That's crazy. All right, I'm here. That's fine. Right. Give me a, what a, give me a, what a great just way gonna, to open a podcast. I'm going to turn the fan off just in case it's acting like a bitch in the recording. I asked my mother to make French toast a lot of them. She did. It's really good. All right. So I I brought you two. Oh, no, three, because Waffle Man's here. I yeah, I'm, you I'm your co-host. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're just gonna vibe with that, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Like, uh, Rowan really wanted uh to be Barley Podcast. I don't know why, because we're a bunch of fuck ups. Um, I like to talk about platform fighters. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Well, then, then okay. Then, <laughs> then it's a good reason then. And uh, Leviathan's here. You know, I literally talked to Rowan about this, but <laughs> you to me is uh. Oh yeah, the Stardust Valkyrie player, as though you haven't gotten first with every single other platform fighter in existence. So that's funny. Yeah. What what are you? Number one in NASB two right now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I am number one on the PR. It's a oh. uh a heavy title to bear, I must say. King of the children, bro. King of the children. Hey, 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 hey. Uh so I'm gonna be honest, I have three topics here. And you guys said that we can get through this with a relative face, and that's fine with me. Um, but most of the topics are, rather than being very serious, they're just gonna be about, like, kind of the future of Platform Fighters and how we're feeling about it, you know? Or, um, Mm -hmm. things that involve in that matter. So, that's basically the topic, just the future of Platform Fighters, and we're just gonna go in and we'll just start, I guess. Leviathan, Rowan. The first topic that I would love for us to discuss, and I think it's very interesting because so many people have opinions about it, is how would we save platform fighters? Now, before we get into this, I understand that video games such as Combo Devils, such as Rivals 2, are heading to the scene, and they may show their potential to maybe bring out people's intentions in order to actually support the scene and maybe and maybe just finally rid the rust of when it comes to platform fighters being ass i understand that but maybe this is just to be a negative nancy just in case something were to happen or let's say that future isn't upon us right how would we save platform fighters do we have to do we have to revolve around single player content is it only because of different things such as like monetizations and stuff like that I guess first we can go with Leviathan, and then we can go to Rowan, and then we can go to Waffle Man, if you guys want. Oh, okay. I nominate yeah. Rowan as first. Why do you nominate me? <laughs> I know you That's... really want to go first. That's messed no, no, up, no, no. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. You go ahead. Uh, um, pretty much, I think uh, the simplest thing is that to kind of save the genre, we kind of need to collectively uh, become the genre, to say the least. I feel like the community for Plat Fighters are very split. Because uh, the biggest uh, platform fighters have communities that feel like sub factions in comparison to like as a whole. Like you can say to FGC, plat fighters kind of have their thing where it's like, oh, you're a Smash player, you're a Brawlhalla player, and then there's like the middle ground of everything else. You might even see Rivals player, but everything else is just like it's so jumbled. There's nothing. There's nothing definitive. I feel like coming together overall to like kind of support a game, not even just like. Not even just like a like a central thing. It's like showing more love to other games because there isn't a lot of spotlight for uh, platform fighters that aren't kind of the the homage or the the bigger names that kind of made their own space in the in the area. But a lot of the reason that people kind of kind of say that you know, or, or don't really like try other games is mostly just because like the sma- like the quality that kind of Smash and Brawlhalla bring. It's kind of difficult to compete with games that well first of all one of them is free and on console (laughs) and the other and the other one is like a game that's been around for almost 20 years um and obviously has that quality like even melee compared to 
sorry even melee compared to like some other platform fighters at the time is like kind of that that shit's crazy like it's really it's like it's really it's it's really good quality there's a lot in it even though that it's a buggy mess and it feels bad like there is still a lot of stuff that you can do like you know the event matches and the arcade mode that has a bunch of different stages and you know all that other like i feel like people like kind of need to get away it's it's hard for people to get away from it and i understand that uh and i don't really think that plat fighters have to do something different i think that just the quality has to be good or as good as like melee and ultimate and brawlhalla like even rivals 2 uh i think they're i think they're kind of getting there like even with that even like imagine if that uh if the john or kane cart cart thing was in there like you know that's mm-hmm. high quality and it looks nice and it'd probably be fun obviously mm-hmm. it wasn't real but it would it would be fun and it would kind of it would kind of help the uh it would kind of help people be like oh well now i have a reason to play this instead of just being like okay well i'm playing project m again yeah i feel like that's i feel like that's fair i think another th- another thing though like t- to kind of bring up is that we do have games that come up that are of quality it's just obviously they aren't really supported that's a that's a that's a big thing like yeah. It is really valid that, you know, in general, we do need, quote unquote, better platform fighters to show up before we kind of, as a community, go towards it. Because our standards are relatively high because our highs are very high, but our lows are relatively low. And we have really good middle grounds because you know, not a lot of people can contend with Nintendo. That's that's Mr. Billionaire right there. But, mm-hmm. you know, there are, there are people that are out there making their games. And they're down to support the people that are playing their games and support the scenes, either it be casual, either it be competitive. And Nintendo isn't one of those people. <laughs> but but they know how to make a really good game, so they brought a lot of people. And even with just, you know, the people that played a video game, they were able to make their own scene. It's very uh it's very impressive. That's why I think that if, you know, multiple people find a good middle ground on what game people can enjoy or generally find a lot of value or or like merit in. It would be really sick to see how we generally come together to make something else because melee is running off of players and grassroots. Ultimate definitely has uh, more because you know more scenes were already established from the previous Smash games. But you know I, there are a lot of TOs happy to jump on games. It's just that these games need to be supported in some shape or form. It's just something that just comes with time and or just love. Hmm. That that I, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, Waffle Man, you can have you can have the floor on this one, and then I'll say my piece. Mm, wonder what I want to say. Well, first, uh, we're not entirely sure that Rivals Card is off the table. I'll just say that. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm, Insiders, I'm sure John 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 Orkane kind of screwed that one up, bro. I don't I don't think that's coming. <laughs> I think that's over. I, I'm still a coper. <laughs> Find out John or Kane put it in their head. It's definitely happening now. <laughs> Maybe. Well, what I'll say about the actual topic is I do b- believe there are some people that put qual- the quality to it at stream. Like, they expect ultimate level of everything, which is unhealthy. I don't think it's just one problem. It's just multiple other stuff that we can grow on. Need more messengers, more more profits about uh, platform fighters in general. That's all I can think of at the moment. If you want, I can develop that idea. Yeah, please do. Of course. So, like, I hear everyone. I hear everyone out, and I think um, I, I do not think. That it's unfair to think to think these things, Leviathan and Rowan. I think our I think the future of it is pretty bright. Um, I just I agree with Wonderful Man. Um, I've been doing this for a long time, just just talking and getting knowledge from things, and I kind of agree for the fact that it's just multiple things. I think the biggest reason as to what's holding us back is just for the fact that one game hasn't really, one game just hasn't breached out into there uh just like smash does and has been like decent you know like i would argue maybe nasby 2 and slap city but for some reason those aren't getting as much as i would think and for like the past 10 to like maybe 15 years if you really want to go that far platform fighters never really had like 
they didn't really have like a lot of the chances that we do now and a lot of there was a lot of canceled things and a lot of canceled projects and a lot of projects that just didn't fall through over those 10 years of and if if that was different our future would probably be different but not only do we have the history that's jaded but it's also the fact that you know the quality is probably not as much as it probably should be i agree not everything should be ultimate level but let's be honest even when it comes to the games such as cross impact and things like that there definitely could be a lot more ingenuity and a lot more elbow grease to it that we're not putting it in so i can see that i think it's multiple i think it's multiple things as waffle man said waffle man what oh. you want to say as I'll say, uh, it's unfair to expect like Na the Nasby series, which is shovelware in the Colonial's eyes and, and game mills. That that is harsh to say, but it's true. No, it's true. No, it's true. It's not hard yeah. to say. That is that is that is. To, it. I'm I'm gonna upset Blackmar here, but that is exactly what it is. So. <laughs> it's unfair to compare shovelware to a first party Nintendo title. Which is the best selling fire game of all time. It's think, very unfair to expect those numbers from Nasby Two is a, too much of a specific example though, because it has an effect on it, right? And I think Multiverses kinda also has the same effect. Nasby two died because of Nasby One, right? Like if Nasby One was Nasby Two, like a couple years back, Nasby Two would still be going crazy. Yeah. Right? It'd still be popular. There would be a lot of people playing it, but because Nasby one so as I was saying, okay, so Nasby two is like a different is like a it has like an effect on it, and I think multiverses kind of has the same effect. <laughs> Nasby one came out, and it was such a failure, not a failure for the casual scene because keep in because keep in mind Nasby one still sells still sells copies, and Nasby one actually sells more copies than Nasby two does. Yeah, um, that's it, that's surprising. It well, it's not surprising. Think about it. Uh, it's a it's a game with SpongeBob on the front of it that has a bunch of other Nickelodeon characters. A mother walks into Target and she's like, "Oh, twenty dollars? Okay, I'll buy this for my kid." You know, Nasby uh, Two is the same deal. Nah, uh, I mean, yes, it is the same deal, but it's all it also costs more money. Like it's uh, like okay. it's like forty, almost fifty. It's forty, right? It's fifty. Fifty? Yeah. Every okay. game mail game is fifty. Yeah. Until so it's like. So you either you either buy the twenty dollar one, which is going to be on store shelves because they're still selling it, or you're going to buy the fifty dollar one, which you know a little bit too expensive. They may not like it. Who knows? You know. But anyway, back to what I was saying. I think that if Nasby two came out around the time that Nasby one came out, right? So let's just say that Nasby one never existed, right? If Nasby two was Nasby one, Nasby would still be alive. I, I don't yeah. think it has to do with quality. That game just kind of shot itself in the foot with Nasby 1. Uh, and I think Multiverses is kind of doing the same thing too. Granted, Multiverses is a lot more popular. And it's also free, which is the biggest thing. Um, Multiverses had a rough beta. Not a lot of people liked it. It went to its lowest numbers possible. And then it came back and it wasn't as big as when it was in the beta. Uh, I think I think a lot of platform fighters need to have a lot of good impressions because if they don't, it doesn't matter how good your game is. You could literally have the next Super Smash Brothers, and if you and you know if your uh, <laughs> if your gameplay looked like Go All Out the first time, I mean, <laughs> it's not gonna do as well. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. not gonna do as well. Yeah, I like. I kind of want to expand on that whenever we talk about that because I feel like it's also very important to mention that. The arguable most important, uh, or I guess most played currently, like platform fighters, like Brawlhalla, hands down. Yeah. And that game, the one thing we probably won't mention as much is quality involved in that game. It's a flash game, right? It's made a while ago, and the template of the video game hasn't really been expanded on as much. Obviously, there's changes to make it look a little bit more pretty, but it's still obviously not the most visually appealing game, especially for like most people. That's why. A lot of people, uh, specifically from platform fighters, can't really get that into it. I'm gonna, be you, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. Um, <laughs> that's literally the only reason why I don't really play the game. Like, yeah. I would actually, I would actually learn everything if it wasn't just like the Rayman design looking characters. If it looked like, 
if it looked like the trailers, I would give it a chance. But it's Rayman characters, so I'm just like, eh, this is okay, I guess. To be fair, yeah. I do like the animations. Some of the yeah, animations, the animations are horror. Yeah, the animations, like, what would they have? They they do great work with it. But that's exactly what I mean. It's just like, the game, realistically, it's of quality, but it's it's definitely not of quality of any of the names we're, we're going to mention that's, like, anywhere near it. Like, it's not of quality of rivals. The sprite work or... Uh, work in general just isn't nowhere near as close and it's nowhere near and not even in debate for smash right but there's something about having a game that's both super accessible very easy to play and really easy to market in a uh, in a space like this because there's nothing else with a existing marketing like brawlhalla or anything like that and i feel like that's something that a lot of black fighters miss it's kind of hard for it to get to uh, across to other people that don't really like seek out for a platform for a platform fighter to kind of it kind of just comes to them like smash you you go over somebody's house and they have smash right you can uh you can go to you can go talk to somebody they, they, they probably play brawlhalla i guess i don't know <laughs> they probably play brawlhalla or it's just like other platform fighters they kind of don't have that um they're obviously not household but they're also not um they're not marketed that's a big thing. They're not marketed. Yeah. Not a lot of people know them. And yeah, that's they, fair they, because... They also don't have the League of Legends effect. Meaning yeah. IPs. Well, not even just, well, not even just <laughs> that. Like, Brawlhalla can be played on your toaster. I can't... Mm. I, I, I'm not going to be able to play Combo Devils on the toaster. I'm going to be yeah. honest. I can't hey, play that. Might. Hey, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you might, you might be able to. I'm not going to say anything, but you might... Hold on a second. I'm gonna play no, that shit really... on my. Hey, hey, shit listen. on my fridge. Well, they're trying, bro. They're you trying. Oh, that's Black really fair. fair. That's really oh, my fair. Blackberry. I... That's that's disgusting. 2011 <laughs> ass game. <laughs> Booted up on the Kia. Mm-hmm. Booted up on the calculator. Let's run some sets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. But I, I think it's really fair to like mention it. It is also really important to mention that, like, you know, not a lot of platform fighters also have the space to kind of fund uh, good marketing. But it it just kind of shows that we kind of lack that in general with, like, how multiverses did theirs, where it was like, they have, they should have the budget to market, right? They have the quality to mu- the budget, too. These trailers are great, but, you know, the marketing isn't great. That's, it's like, a simple fact that most people have come to. And for a lot of other games, and even like smaller projects like Rival- Rivals 2, they have a, a excellent marketing. I think how they market is very simple, and it's very effective because it keeps you updated on things. Even if you don't care, it keeps popping, on, co- popping up on your feed. And that's just going to happen, especially if, you, if you're in the space with people that follow or even have a chance of following. I, I was just going to say that I think that, um, I think that the Brawlhalla community, like the though... The Brawlhalla community and the Smash, like the Platform Fighter community, are two different communities. Though, I I think that, like, cause I don't I don't see the same people that play Brawlhalla play Platform Fighters, and if they do, they play they play like multiverses, which is the most similar to mm-hmm. Brawlhalla. Um, like there are a couple people that I've seen. Uh, that like you know like I've seen like I've seen a couple people play Rushdown you know I've seen I've seen Pycor I've seen Pugsy I've seen there's a third Brawlhalla player so who am I thinking about Leviathan G three G three yeah G three <laughs> well you, you don't count you're a Stardust yeah. Valkyrie player um <laughs> anyway uh so yeah the, like I see those people like they you know they jump to another game and they love it. But like to be fair, Rushdown is kind of like I mean it is kind of like you know, it's kind of like Brawlhalla you know it has the chase dodge and all that stuff. But you know they, they don't. But I don't <laughs> shut up. They <laughs> I don't see them. I don't see them going to other things. If I ever see like Pugsy play another game, it's it's like he plays it for like maybe a couple days and then he stops because you know he's there for the money and I get that. Uh, I think it's kind of the same thing with Pycor as well. G3 loves multiverses, and that game is, you know, the most like Brawlhalla. So I, I just think they're separate communities. I think that uh, 
I don't know. I, I, I they're just kind of separate communities. They don't really play the same things, and if they do, you know, it, it's it's because it's super similar to the game to Brawlhalla specifically. I think, I think that's honest. I think a big thing about it too is just, there's there's a big thing about being worth going from them from their game to the other games because mm-hmm. Brawlhalla is it, it's almost a full time job deciding on how good you are. You you make so much money from it. So why mm-hmm. would these players like why would these players ever like go away from that space? Like the only person that does that is, you know, like Sandstorm, right? Yeah. And but uh, but like that's the that's the big thing. You are right though. I do believe it's like two separate like I, I he sticks to multiverses. But he <laughs> sticks to multiverses, hey. right? Like hey. one of the games he plays. Hey. He, hey. he does Smash Four. He does <laughs> he does Brawlhalla, and then he does multiverses. What Wait, else? Wait, Smash Four? Oh, Hell yeah, I love that game. I hate That's that game, and also love that game. <laughs> yeah, then, yeah. He was a he was a Smash Four pro, right? Or he was like really, no, really good in his region. No, or Smash Ult, Smash Ultimate. No, he's really What's good. Ultimate? Ult. I thought it was Four. Uh, both really. I thought he played Ryu. Did he play Ryu? Yeah, he plays he plays Ryu Ken. In four. In, in yeah. In both, I guess. Yeah. In both, yeah. But um. So, so I'm gonna be real on well, unless Ronwin has another thing to say about it. Go ahead. We've been yapping too much. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> um, I'll just say one last thing, and I guess we can go to the next topic, right? When it mm-hmm. comes to like, when it comes to like the um, what uh, what is it? You just said it when you try to get your game out there. What is that called again? Marketing. Yeah, when it comes to marketing, I've talked about this before to other people, but um. Maybe this is mean what I'm gonna say, but I think I think honestly we should do less do do less Smash players and more like just generic YouTubers at the end of the day. Like I'm gonna yeah. be honest with you, like I don't know if any you any of you know who Smitty is, like a Smitty Plus or whatever. Like good YouTuber has like four friend groups and they always do games. Like when he played multiverses back in the beta, right? Like that shit was actually huge. I think two to like three million, and that was that was legitimately just free marketing for twenty minutes talking about how your game is awesome, right? So it's like, so it's like the reason why I would want to do more stuff like that isn't to like it. it it's not even to like collect the bag and to like just get free marketing from a big audience. It's really just because at least neutral has said to me before that. There's tons of people that actually enjoy uh, a lot of platform fighters. It's just that there's a there's a subsection of platform fighter haters, I guess. I'm gonna put that in quotations. That like <laughs> really re- really sound with the mood when it comes to platform fighters and have like a lot of you know anger for them, especially when they're not the best that they could be. You know, but yeah. apparently a lot of people actually truly do like platform fighters. It's just that you know it's subsided for everything else. So going in and and again, this might be mean. I want to do. I want to do less Leffen and more Vanoss gaming. If that makes any sense. <laughs> nah, it makes a lot of sense. Another big thing is like for multiverses, they got they got um XQC to play, and I got really really liked at the game. Hey, they got a lot more than that. I they didn't got know XQC. that. Yeah, XQC they... loved that game. He played Iron Giant. He did the uh, he did the butt slam only, and that was his entire game plan. He had the time of his life. And that got so many people into the game. Wasn't that uh, Jake Carr input uh, Iron Giant Mm -hmm. uh, Airball and did an opponent between and 400 damage? Yeah, Yeah, I remember. He had the time of his life doing mainly just that. And it just shows how simple it is. (laughs) You just need to get the right person to enjoy your game. I mean, I mean, even a chat will pop off for it. I mean, there's so many, there's so many casuals that play that play Smash Brothers and just use Kirby up B, You know, maybe we're missing mm-hmm. something. That's Kirby to down. Be, to be fair though, that's no. like they probably asked for a shit ton because that was a sponsorship, right? And they didn't just get XQC, which probably you know it's like a kick contract full of money. No, yeah. like they got XQC, they got Germa, they got Connor eats pants. Like they got they got a ton of streamers who are super big and a lot of people know, but like. A lot of platform fighters that are trying to market themselves don't really have that. So what? But what they do have is that they have the connections to these Smash players. So that's why I don't really blame the. Uh, that's why I don't really blame like the marketing being towards Smash players is because sometimes that is really the only thing that you have because you either don't have the money 
or that's just the connections you have and that's that that's what you can work with because to be fair while most while most platform fighter players like while mo sorry let me let me let me make it more specific while most smash players while they don't want to switch from their game they are fine with trying another one that doesn't mean that they're going to stay with it but like people like hungrybox and people like uh it's not, I, not really Coney, but like, you know, the other the other people like Void, like they're oh, they want to try different things. They just they just stick with Smash because, you know, that makes the money. Although Void has been sticking with multiverses recently. Um, I think that also has to do with the money as well, because a lot of people watch them. Um, but yeah, it, it's uh, I think it's just because th that's just what they have. It doesn't really have to do with, you know, uh because it it it, t it takes a lot of money to get those other content creators as well to sponsor them we, to do that stuff. We can't expect an indie game like Combo Devils to get Mr. Beast. <laughs> uh, I mean, to be honest with you, I know one person. Uh, I know one streamer that actually commented on, uh, one of the one of the videos who actually played Rushdown back in the day, and he brought, oh my God, he brought a uh, CDN the third. He brought so many people to Rushdown whenever I was back, and he actually commented on the Combo Devils video, and I was like, I was like saying, hey guys, this is a big guy, like he has, like he literally has a million followers on Twitch, like he's really, really I've big. Never heard of him. Yeah, he's, he's actually really, really big, and he brings a lot of people, so I was like, hey, like look at this guy, he's pretty big. So, you know, like, people will come. Obviously, content creators will come if it's, if it's good looking. CDN the third just likes platform fighters, so... You know, if if you can get people, good. But sometimes you just have to stick with Smash players. That makes sense. Well, I, well, honestly, I, th I think, th I think that's it for that topic. Unless anyone wants to bring anything up. No, no I think that was, I think that was pretty valid. All good. right. Um, here's the next one, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe maybe I'm gonna get flack for this one. Uh, do platform fighters need to innovate? Letting everyone else go first. I will be last. Uh, I, I guess I'll start since Leviathan started the last. I get. I guess before we actually have to say this, right? I guess we have to. I guess we have to say what innovation is, right? Is is mm -hmm. is that going to be like the first thing? Okay. So usually when I think of innovation, I think of different ways in order to fight. So it's like. A lot of people throughout the ages, in my comment section at least, have said something to the prior of wave dashing is a lazy mechanic because we should be trying to do something else in order to actually innovate the platform fighter scene. Meaning, we should have different ways in order to fight people, different ways in order to actually have fun. And because we keep quote unquote sticking to the past with things like wave dashing, uh, we're not getting there. Now, what this could potentially mean, it may be up to you guys because some people think that, you know, taking fighting game, fighting game things that, taking fighting game stuff from traditional fighters are not enough. And some people think that you have to like go into 3D platform fighter territory in order to innovate. So this is just going to have to be peer to peer because I just can't do it. You know what I mean? So Rowan can go first. Do you think that platform fighters need to innovate? Or do you think that, or do you think otherwise, where we just need good quality games and you don't need to innovate? Well, to be fair, the the three most popular games right now, which I would say is probably Smash and Brawlhalla and uh, and Rivals. I mean, that hasn't really innovative. I mean, innovated. I mean, they all have like their own little special mechanics. Uh, Rivals has hit falling, obviously, which is like it's it it's definitely new, but like they haven't really changed from. Like and plus they're they're using mechanics from, um, PM, and like they're you know they're 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 bringing in the PM players like with crouch canceling, floor hugging, all that other stuff. Um, so I don't I don't really think so. I I I just hmm. I, I gotta think about this one because it's it, it's it's a hard thing to say. Because for, well, first of all, I don't think that wave dashing should be taken out. I think I think a, having a dash mechanic is way too important, and it doesn't have to be wave dashing per se. I think you can go a slower right route and have dashes, but dashes are kind of needed because like think like I don't know if you've ever played Street Fighter Alpha, 
uh like the like the uh old arcade games but that game did not have dashing and oh my god that game like to a casual player it feels so bad it, it is <laughs> it is really slow and but like you know obviously the game is really really fast if you know how to play it but like that's if you know how to play it like as a casual oh my god it feels so ridiculously slow you can only walk you can't dash you can't run you can't do anything like that uh so and, and you know I may be just a speed demon because you know I I mean I love I love Rushdown which is like one of the fastest one of the fastest platform fighters out there you know yeah I, yeah you you and every zoomer platform fighter ever yeah I I mean I also <laughs> also one of my also one of my favorite traditional fighters is King of Fighters like I I love that fast sort of gameplay so I that, that's a hard question for me I I'd, I'd have to think about it for a second. Do you like Family Guy clips under your Subway Surfers? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I guess the Viathan can go, and then Waffle Man can go. Yeah, God. And we can give Ramos yeah. some time. I think what I would say really isn't much of a of its own thing. It's more of a branch of what Rowan mentioned. But yeah, I think it's. I don't think innovation is kind of the uh, necessity for more platform fighters to get out there. I think it actually is something that's driving away a lot of people f- that are already ex- uh, interested in the mm-hmm. genre. Yeah. It's like, for instance, like introducing a lot of people to Rush Down Revolt, as mentioned previously, it was really hard to get them through, like, you know, the fact that Spark was in the game, like the new dash mecha- mechanic, dash cancels, et cetera, et cetera. That's really hard to get to people that kind of just want to, they have wave dashing, they have like wave lands general jab one two etc cetera, etc cetera. it's just like that is such a hard thing to beat out of their brains because it's already so familiar to them and even to mention like what's popular right now it's still it's still like the three standards that are very not it's not innovative at all it's very uh very bare bones and down to the core even the newest game that's coming up that's apparently uh seen as the like savior of platform fighters which is really good because you know we need something like that but uh rivals 2 is still very bare bones it's nothing new it's uh it's still like some very unique and interesting characters but realistically the game systematically is very bare bones and familiar it's not innovative as much outside of its unique take on parries and how we deal with projectiles but that's just kind of a show that most most of it isn't really wit innovation it's more so with uh how i feel it's player feel and kind of a form of familiarity with something uh with something generally around how to how the game will work and it will bring more people into it outside of like what it does by itself and that's kind of weird to put it but uh the main thing about it is just it has to feel when i grab this game i have to feel like I'm not like a newborn baby holding a controller while playing a platform <laughs> fighter, right? And yeah. it, it, it might seem extreme, but that's that's how certain people feel when they're playing some of these games. And that's fully understandable because, you know, people can take that, uh, take that route and make their own thing. But people hate the feeling of just, like, ignorance. People hate feeling ignorant to what to do uh, while, like, out on, like, how to simply move around the map correctly or how to how to combo somebody things like uh things need to feel great or feel like you're doing a lot while you're not actually doing a lot like because hitting the dash button in brawlhalla people are moving back and forth they just hit the dash button forward and back they think they're dash dancing it looks sick to them it's not really that much (laughs) but it it gives you that feel that you're doing something and though i think a lot of plat fighters like the innovation in plat fighters is definitely something i'm very impressed by i think a lot of games have um taking the uh taking the uh, genre to newer heights it's just it's just something that i personally have felt uh when uh introducing more people to platform fighters it just doesn't either click with them immediately or it doesn't feel like a platform fighter that they've ever touched before and that just that's an immediate like oh i, I would have to put more time into this and instead of my main game like we mentioned earlier where it's like why would people realistically try to go to this game outside of just like a like a for fun thing speaking on the uh speaking on like the <clears throat> the innovation like of uh 
whenever he was saying that like you know it kind of it kind of alienates people because sometimes sometimes there are too many mechanics uh i like for instance i probably will not be playing rivals too and the reason is is that i hate crouch canceling and floor hugging so much i i literally i i literally like got on rivals too i played for like 5 minutes I hit I hit somebody with two up tilts. They crouch canceled and like floor hugged both of them, and then they punished me. And I was like, okay. And then I got off. It, <laughs> I I like the innovation of platform fighters, but I don't. I think that there are a lot of old things that people want to try to bring bring back that just aren't worth it. Like for instance, I know that I know that this is not like it's not a mechanic that you have to do. But it's a mechanic that helps if you really want to. Like for instance, L canceling in Slap City. I don't think L, I don't think L canceling should come back in any way. I think that's a I think that's a really bad mechanic. Um, I think when it comes to innovation, I think going I think I think instead of going backwards for some things and instead going forwards is a lot better, and it makes games feel a lot and, and just makes games feel a lot better because. I don't I don't I I haven't really seen a lot of people be positive with the floor hugging and the uh, crouch canceling and if they do most of the time I see that they come from melee so <laughs> you know it, it's it's something I guess they're used to and they like that and that's great I just don't think Rivals 2 is the game for me you know it's not it's not my, really my cup of tea but this is like one of the biggest platform fighters so it's either I have to play ultimate with 6 frames native input delay Brawlhalla, which is just too weird for me, and I just don't, and I just can't really get around it. Or Rivals Two with archaic mechanics that I'm not too big on. So obviously, I'm gonna go towards the smaller indie games because those games are the ones that are actually like, you know, trying new things, being different enough to where it's not like it doesn't use those archaic mechanics. Like you know, obviously, Rushdown Revolt, Combo Devils, Stick Fighters. You know these these games like they're very good. They have a lot of new mechanics that are really interesting, and they don't and they don't try to like innovate backwards. Like they try to they try to do something new, which is great. I like that. You know, I just don't think that Rivals Two is for me. I have uh, I'll let Waffle Man and then I'll say my thoughts. Okay. I've been patiently waiting for this question, so. <laughs> Short answer, yes, we should innovate. If we don't, we are just literal Smash clones. Long answer is uh, more complicated. God, There's games that. like Rivals 1 versus Rivals 2. Rivals 1 is a very innovative game. Probably, honestly, one of the most innovative and important platform fighters ever made. But it doesn't appeal to everyone with its lack of mechanics. It does make up for it with its own style, but it's it it just doesn't appeal to the wide audience. Rivals Two is made to appeal to the widest audience, and a lot of Rivals One's fans feel betrayed. Same thing can be said with NASB 1 to NASB 2. NASB 1, even though a lot of people didn't like it, for a lot of reasons, there was still a community. People like its own take and its own innovations. Uh, then NASB 2 came along and people, some people felt a bit betrayed with its more traditional take on the mechanics and the flow of the game. And mm. coming from me, I am still a Smash fan at heart. I think I'm going to enjoy Rivals 2 a lot. I enjoy that comf comfortness, but it does come at the cost of innovation. Of Is it worth sacrificing your own niche just to get more popular and losing your quote-unquote spice to become more mainstream is it's to sacrifice potential great ideas to to try not to alienate 
newer fans. We're trying to get back my train of thought. Uh, <laughs> even like games like Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is alien to me. I I kind of like Brawlhalla, but I probably won't ever try to get good at or decent at it. It, but I still think it can exist, even though I don't really care that much for it. Even a game I like better, which is like Brawlhalla, which is multiverses. I think multiverses has a lot of problems, even with the gameplay, and not just because it's slower. But I still respect multiverses for trying something new and being one of the most innovative platform fighters I've honestly ever seen. Honestly, might be up there with Rivals, but it, Rivals is a better made game. Innovative <laughs> in what way? Multiverses has a lot of great ideas, especially with its cast. It, how do I describe it? It's just the main gameplay flow is shallow for the most part, and it doesn't have that much of its core gameplay to make up for it, unlike something like Rivals, that uh, it doesn't quite feel as good. I probably could have described it better, but... <laughs> I think I think when it comes to multiverses specifically, on that, I actually did uh, on Neos' last video, I did see somebody say that, uh, or maybe this was, or maybe this was somewhere else I saw it, but somebody said that, like, they don't like how every single Rivals character has, like, their own little gimmick, they play their own little minigame. Um, <clears throat> one thing I can say about Multiverse is that it does, like, well, is that you could literally play every character, right? It's innovative in the thought of that it make it has casuals, you know, it gives casuals, like, an easy way to actively play the game and try different things, because most characters have the same exact moves, right? Like, like, you know, you see Shaggy Kick, and you know who else has Shaggy Kick? Half of the cast. Like, I mean, Joker has it, Wonder Woman has it, Steven has it, uh, Iron Giant kinda has it, uh, who else? Um, Banana Guard has it. Uh, Banana Guard has it, like, they Agent all- Agent Smith kinda has it. <laughs> yeah. They all have that very long reaching killing uh type of normal where you where you know you advance forward and you even like kind of even in different ways like even like Batman has it you know with down tilt or not down tilt uh dash down attack. special no not dash oh. attack down special down special I would also think is an advancing normal that's super big and kills um so I would say the multiverse is innovative in the way of in in innovative in the way of like bringing casuals together but whenever it comes to like character designs itself they are very very shallow and they're not and they're not like too interesting. So I think maining one character in that game is just really hard to do. Because, like, I've been, you know, that whole time that I was playing Multiverses, I played Iron Giant my whole entire time. And it was, I don't know, it was kind of it was kind of shallow because his because his game plan wasn't really that crazy. It was just, you know, do move into up air or do a, like this into bolts into up air or something like that. Yeah, that is interesting. Maybe the Multiverses cast is more derivative than I initially thought. I'll, it is. It is like the talking point of like how ladder combos are also like a lot of characters' main focal point, their main game plan is just uh KO you on the top last zone. Well that's funny because uh do you remember I don't know if you played beta you played beta multiverses, right? No. I'm so, a uh so I'm a in... zoomer multiverses player. Okay. In beta multiverses there actually was a thing. So, you know, they told you the name of the character. They told you the role that they play. So mage, support, bruiser, tank, whatever. There was also another one that said horizontal, vertical, or what was the other word, Leviathan? It was hybrid. Hybrid. I think that, that's still in the game. I don't know. I don't think it is. Is it still in the game? I don't think so. It might be. I can open it up. 
Um, but that that basically told you, like, you know, oh, does this character kill off the top? Does this character kill off the side? Does this character, you know, kill in both ways? Which is funny to me because I don't think that that stat actually mattered. I think that all characters actually killed off the top. Like, yeah. Steven, Steven, because of his fair, like, you know, obviously his fair was super strong. So they said, oh, yeah, he's a horizontal killing character. And they put that there. But what was funny is that Steven's ladders are probably some of the best ladders in the entire game. It's because so, it's, it still rises him up a little bit. So, like, yeah. it, it's not fully horizontal. It's, like, a, a lot horizontal, but you move in, like, a 45-degree angle as well. So that's why. Yeah, it, it's... Uh, uh, there are very few characters in multiverses that feel like they struggle to get the kill off the top. No, yeah. Well, I mean, also the they're bigger and the stages are smaller, so that yeah kind of makes sense. That's and the, I, the top yeah, blast zone is pretty I different can, to yeah, most platform fighters. When you can air dodge into the blast zone and you die, it's definitely different. <laughs> yeah, it feels odd. <laughs> yeah, but I I think that I think that saying multiverses is innovative it's kind of true because it's innovative for for casuals because it helps casuals like try different things and want to keep playing the game more because as you play more of the characters you know you start to realize how similar they are but they all have kind of different unique mechanics that are like that aren't like crazy unique but they're unique enough to where you can play the character for maybe a couple hundred hours and then be satisfied and then go on to the next character um so it is innovative in that thought but like whenever it comes to character design specifically it's not it, like all of the characters are mostly the same and i literally saw this with samurai jack he just has shaggy kick only it's disjointed and you have to charge it instead so <laughs> it, it's like it's like it's not really like crazy Innovate. Yeah, when I look at that move like that, you're kind of right in some way. Yeah, no, I, I, like, I don't, I don't want to, like, I didn't want to, like, shit on your point, but it's just like, I, I get what you're saying, but I also think that, I also think that there is room for doing things better because there are not, like, I, I have seen people say that, like, oh yeah, Tom and Jerry's so hard, and I've literally had a friend of mine who is a Shaggy player who has played no other character pick up the character and is like, wait, this character is baby. And then just start like destroying everyone, hitting yeah, Jerry shots all over, and not even like breaking a sweat about it. So it's hard to find a character that's actually hard in multiverses. Yeah, I think the closest would be like Morty, I guess. I kind think of. no, no, Rick, no, Morty's Rick. Not. Rick. It's Marvin who's the hardest. Uh, maybe, maybe. You have to have so many things on your mind when playing as them. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, and you, yeah, and you still fucking have Bumito death. So fuck you. Anyway. Oh <laughs> well, wait, he does have Shaggy Kick. He does have. Yeah, he has Shaggy Kick. Yeah. Of course he does. I'm telling you, all of the characters are very are very much similar. They all just have the same exact thing, so they can bring in the casuals that will try these characters. So, Man, like, like, I've never thought of it like that. <laughs> I'm just noticing all these patterns I've never had before. Mm-hmm. I think it's I think it's very funny because it's like usually when I usually when I hear about things like innovation, I always think it's something that will come later on. W the problem with our platform fighter community right now is that we're waiting. We're waiting for the game. We're waiting for Rivals Two. We are waiting for Combo Devils. We're waiting for the one game that we can all like, that we can all that we can show the world in order to show that our genre can prosper in some way. And that's what we're really waiting on right now. So, like, this is why I don't really think about innovation too much. Because it's like, it would be cool, I guess, but if we don't even have... I kind of think about it like Hollow Knight. It's like Hollow Knight takes so long in order for you to go through and get all the things in order to feel like a badass. You know, it took time. Same as how it's taking time now, where it's like, it's going to take some time in order to have these two games show the world that maybe we can do something so maybe we can innovate in the future. I think people who look at wave dashing in this sort of way where it's like impeding on innovation aren't really thinking about it clearly. We You got to think about it like... We gotta show people we can do stuff first, and then we can do the next one. I, 
I think about Nasby 1 to Nasby 2. They had to prove that they can do it first. They looked through everything. They saw that how the game was, and then they finally made made Nasby 2. Now, of course, you know, it goes to the history. Like, because Nasby 1 didn't do so well or because it was so hated, it affected 2. But you know what? They're trying anyway, and maybe Nasby 3 will be will be finally the thing that, you know, everyone talks about. So I don't think we need to innovate. Personally, I think we just need to do what Le- Leviathan has actually talked about and make our games good first, you know, make it not feel like we're babies when we get down the controller and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, the point with Rowan that he brought up uh, with, Sla- with uh, Slap City is very interesting because it's like, um, um, again, I'm not a Melee player. I probably played like 30 minutes of it when I was in middle school. I've never played Play it you fuck you anyway um um <laughs> uh, so like i i agree that i can see why people don't like l canceling in their games and i get it it can look prehistoric especially for what it is personally to me i feel as though if you repurposed it into something else it would feel better like i think personally slap city does that well it's not even about the fact that you that you um, make it so that you can go to your position better. It's also the fact that there's also a little slide at the end of it, and also there's an indicator to show you that you actually did the move comparison to melee. Like, maybe it, ju- maybe, maybe, maybe L canceling shouldn't just be the fact that you're that you can get up faster. Maybe it's also the fact that there's like you know a unique slide animation, or like it actually impacts you if you actually use it. You know, I feel yeah, like we feel when you do the mechanic which which i do think slap city does well i do feel as though that it does the l cancel well i d- for 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 mechanics of the olden days i feel like if you just repurpose them a little bit you can always make them actually feel good especially to the casuals i'm pretty sure if someone could do forward air and like that and you like tell them and you gave them enough time like there was enough of the buffer system where you can like do l cl- l canceling and it slides them like all the way to the left like maybe give them a little like i don't know a hitbox while doing it i don't fucking know but if you did that i'm pretty sure it would be something of a mechanic that people actually r- like versus the skill intensive we i'm doing this because like in order to prove a point i need to. to yeah <laughs> yeah pretty much so i think you can repurpose things like that so uh, yeah it's, um, yeah it's i mean it's possible uh, well first of all before the so the slap city players don't crucify me i know that l canceling and slap city keeps your momentum i know that don't don't crucify me because I, <laughs> I i don't want them to kill me for that <laughs> um yeah for, all three of them yeah for, for, for acting like <laughs> oh I, I know a lot of them um but uh, that has been repurposed actually in other games, which which I'm saying I'm talking about melee, and I'm also talking about Slap City a little bit because I don't like the way that they do. I don't like the way that you have to do it like hitting the ground, right? There has been innovation with L canceling, for instance, Combo Devils has Flash Step, Rushdown Revolt has Sparking, uh, Brawlhalla has Chase Dodge. Like there are different ways to have that skill, like that skill bear or execution check, without without making it super difficult to do and making it like not really make a lot of sense. Because spark, it's cryptic. yeah, it's very cryptic. It's like okay, so wait, if I hit the button on the ground after I do a move, I'm gonna slide or I'm going to lose like half of my landing lag frames. Well, why don't I just get that in general? With, no like, one with, would know L ca- canceling exists just by watching melee. Yeah, no, of course not. You know, like, and, and I think I think Slap City does that okay because you can actually hear the you can hear the kadink or and the uh and the like effect that shows that like hey you know you did this which is great and that's awesome but it you know like it's not as visual as Flash Step or not as visual as Spark. And I don't even think chase dodge is kind of visual, right? Like you can tell when people are chase dodging. I'm pretty sure. I uh, think it's I think it's very interesting that you bring that up because that's probably why hit canceling is so good because you'll do it anyway. Like it'll yeah. be something that you want to do anyway, rather than something that you kind of have to tell someone to do. So that's interesting. Do you have anything else, Leviathan? Or are you good? You've been silent this whole time. I gotta wake you up. Um. 
you know, I just let my youngest Rowan have this oh, little moment. Lord. Nah, nah. Oh, uh, I think for the most part, I fully oh, like. Brother. I kind of got. <laughs> I kind of got everything I wanted to say out. Uh, generally, I think that this kind of topic is more so like it's very, it's very like hard to talk on it without it being obviously like very uh, subjective. Yeah, think, it definitely, it definitely, it. it definitely can feel very open ended when you go yeah. to individual to individual. Yeah, because right now most people say that there's a lot of people saying that plat fighters are all the same. There's a lot of people that don't want to try the other plat fighters that are nowhere near the same. But right now, and with what's coming up and what's being praised right now, it's very bare bones and what's what we know. So it's. We don't really realistically, it's kind of hard to tell what people want. And so it's more so just pointing out what people have shown that they, that they've enjoyed through the years. And it's really hard to give anything outside of like, obviously we need to try new things. That's how we're going to break away from smash brothers and other things, you know, staying as that, you know, number one representative, but Right now, it doesn't seem like any of the new things attempted, even though there's vastly different, like, showcases of such have gotten anywhere near, like, has gotten anywhere near Smash or even to the point of being recognized for being such. The closest we've gotten is just probably about Rivals, and even Rivals is very bare bones. Rivals 1 is very bare bones, but it's it's different enough that it's... uh it felt the need for Rivals 2 to be more so familiar. I will add that I do think platform fighters will just innovate naturally. Like they like they will, just eventually? It's inevitable for platform fighters to innovate. Yeah, yeah that's, kind, that's kind of why I don't really complain about it too much, because I already know it's going to happen as soon as we get good games on the horizon. So. Someone was eventually going to make... Uh, Tag fighter, platform fighter. That's Sentinel, Sentinel sweep. Sentinel yeah. sweep. <laughs> yes, sir. Sentinel sweep. We love to hear it. I love Sentinels. Oh, oh my god. god. So I'm gonna talk about one more thing. It's literally gonna be a minute, and then it's funny that you say that because the next topic is gonna be funny. So I just think it's very funny that in the middle of Rowan speaking, that he said, "I fucking hate the term Smash Clone." And uh, my video about Smash Clones is going to be fucking amazing because I'm going to get so much hate. It's crazy. So that's just funny to me. I hate the term Smash Clones so much. It's so it's such an annoying it's such an annoying term, but I get it. It's like calling it's like calling things a souls like I understand. It's just really annoying because well, then why not just say perfect. Smash like because it's. <laughs> It's stupid because there are other games that do different things. Would you prefer Nas be like? Sure, whatever. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm I'm actually I'm actually excited for this one. Uh, it used to be, are we in the golden era? But I already think we're in the golden era of Flapper Fighter, so I don't think that's very interesting. I think what would be more interesting for everyone else is to say. So we know a lot of things about platform fighters coming out to the future. So I just want to ask everyone in the room, what games are you looking most forward to? I'll let you have your piece. You two go first. Go ahead, Leviathan. Tell tell them about Mad Watch Elysium Three. I know yeah, you want. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, you should be the one to go first. Yeah, I, Why? We already know what you're super excited hey, to talk hey, about. I'm not gonna comment on it. Chill, uh, but uh, chill, if we're being, if we're being honest, what I'm super excited for, realistically, is uh, I'm really excited for stick figures. I think stick figures is uh, we found a stick figures ever. enjoyer. Hey, 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 it's, it's so cool. I don't it's mean so cool. I don't mean that negatively at all. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's it's so sick. Liter- it's a- literally, the only other person I've seen played stick figures is MC. So you talking about it is <laughs> is is weird to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the main thing about it is that that game, uh, that game is just, it's so familiar to other people. It's really simple, but the characters are weirdly sick. Wait, can you click something? Oh no, he got his, he got uh, his, his Yeah, put her on the mic. I got, I got a little sister ganked, I'm sorry. 
Let's no, put her on the mic. Let's have her. Let's have, no, her, let's have no, her talk about what she's what she's excited for. She's yeah, talking about washing her hands. Oh, okay. But uh, no, 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 she's, no, no. She's it's... the one cross impact enjoyer. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, but the main thing, the main thing to mention is just that uh, that game is. I think it's like the perfect example of what I mentioned earlier. It's very simple. And it's very at home. Uh, it's a uh, it's a wave dash. It's a wave dash block uh, grab, etc. It, like it's a simpler one, right? But the characters are so sick in motion. The um the actual game, the actual gameplay loop is very interesting in how they kind of approach very simple things. So like your your ex bar, your ex bar is your block meter, and this makes it so that offensively you can bait out more options, and but your defensive options get. It's it's a nice gameplay. I love that game so much. It's a very it's a very simple game, very simple hold uh like hold name. It's very cool. I'm also very excited for Combo Devil. <laughs> Combo Devils, Combo Devils is so cool. Combo Devils is so cool. I I can't say anything. But that game is so sick. I'm very excited. I'm very excited for that game to kind of go out to the spotlight. At Combo Breaker, a bunch of people got to try the game and they were even more excited and more happy than me, so I'm happy to hear that people are also really like are really anticipating that game, and um, obviously I think Sentinels is <laughs> we we have to see things about Sentinels soon, but Sentinels is sick. Yeah, Sentinels I really sick. hope so. Is Sentinels so is good. really cool. Um, Rivals Two, I will say that I um I personally am probably gonna skip out on it uh because I don't have uh, my little quote unquote Levi character. And it's a, uh, and it's a uh, like, as Rowan mentioned previously, I'm not a I'm not a floor hugger, crouch cancel enjoyer. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe once uh, uh Lorena drops and I could just grab the crouch cancel and stuff. <laughs> True. Yeah, that, True. It's I'm really excited. I feel like right now, flat fighters currently are in a really um it's in a really dead area. But the upcoming, the upcoming future for Plot Fighters is looking very bright. That uh, like late 2024, late 20, uh, 2025 era, uh, 2025 era is looking really interesting and very impressive. So I'm really uh, excited. I, I want to do something different. I actually want Rowan to go after Waffle Man because mm. I, know, I, I know he has a lot to say. So Waffle I, Man I can do. go next. Oh, God. All right. Well... <laughs> I, I'm excited to play Rivals 2 with software. Oh, I, yeah. I feel like I'm going to... The game's going to feel like a pair of gloves, a bit like a glove. <laughs> it's you know, a very comfortable platform fire to play every night, two nights or so. But I think I am more interested of how Combo Devils is going to play out. That that is definitely the one of the most unique, both looking and probably feeling, platform fighters that will probably feel natural to play. Also, Sentinels will probably be good. Okay, Rowan. What were you like excited to... about, software? <laughs> Rowan, do your thing. Do your thing, man. Yeah, so I can't wait for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Two. That's going to be great. <laughs> Rahala 2 is really going to be good. Uh, I can't wait for that. Rivals 3, I know that I know that's coming out in a couple days. I'm yeah, I'm they, so yeah, excited they, for that. They finally they finally got rid of Raster. Yeah, finally. they're going to they're going to put Dan Fornis in the game. It's just going to be great. Uh realistically, um Sentinels, I I am so like I want I want them to come out with something for that game. That game is genuinely it, it's genuinely very interesting what they do with it. And it's very fun. I have so many clips of Sentinels. It is a very, it is just an amazing game to play. It has a lot. It it is very daunting at first. I will say, learning Sentinels was extremely daunting. It was it was really hard to understand what was going on. There were a lot of mechanics. Uh, there was and and trust me, it was not balanced. Uh, I got very mad at Leviathan every single time I played against him because he would play, fucking, Twiletta, Dark Twiletta. And hit tipper forward airs and then hit me with a million <laughs> beams. I hated that fucking character. But um, I always complain about such cool 
Always yeah. complaining about cool. such cool little characters. Cool. Uh, Brother. Yeah, yeah. You were so sick yeah, rolling yeah. around with Sonic Spin Dash. You lose yourself. You're losing yourself. Anyway. Uh, while you guys while you guys were yelling at each other, there's just gonna be a gif of a pig rolling in mud. Oh my god. <laughs> the the what is it? Right Tampa home. is Tampa is one of my favorite <sighs> platform fighter characters of all time. That character is so cool design wise. I love that she's just going to be Captain America. That's fucking dope. I love that. That's amazing. That's um, a yeah, it, she's going to be so cool. And I've played her, and she's very interesting. She was broken as shit, but she was very fun to play. Um, I guess I'll talk about Combo Devils. Uh, Combo Devils is, I think, going to be one of the best platform fighters of all time. And I'm going to shill a little bit. I love that game so much. Obviously, the problem with it right now is that it doesn't have netcode. Um, it is really, it's really hard to get into because the only way that you can play online is through Parsec, and it's, it, it's just very, it's very difficult to get people to want to play because of Parsec. Because I'm gonna say this, Parsec fighting games is literally the worst thing ever. I, I do not understand how people play Marvel Three. They have to love that game so much. Like, to the point where they don't want to play anything else. Because parsecing a fighting game is just the worst thing I have ever experienced in my entire life. And I've done it for years and years and years. But, yeah, Combo Devils is very interesting. It's a it's a game that hasn't... It's a type of game that hasn't really been done before. And if they have done it, it's been done in such, like, a weird way. Like, the only game that I could think of that's done mechanics kind of like Combo Devils is... Um, uh, pro- probably PlayStation All Stars. To be honest with you, just like with how the combos are, but Weird comparison. Yeah. <laughs> but it's but it's like the most similar that I can think of. Not saying that Combo Devils is like PlayStation All Stars because it's not. It's completely different. It's uh, but it's the closest that I can think of that tries to hit that like midpoint between platform fighters and fighting games because keep in mind the guy who the one of the one of the people that's on the that's like uh one of the directors of the game he came from project m like he he actually worked on project m and the the other director who is the main coder he plays fighting games all the time like he he loves traditional fighters he doesn't even play platform fighters so you definitely have that mix of you have that mix of like this this genre and this genre and it's put together and it is and it is so fun to play it is so interesting it's honestly my next rushdown because keep in mind rushdown is like my favorite platform fighter ever made i love that game so much yeah yeah that's that's how i started i started like i started getting into platform fighters because of rushdown because it was just so much fun it was a new take yeah everything was kind of derivative but like what did you have to play around that time you had ultimate you had brahalla and that was like kind of it you had like nasby one it's the peak platform fighter which one brawl out <laughs> no, no anyway um uh that's how i actually met a lot of the brawl out people was through rushdown um <laughs> but yeah you i already i already played slap city i thought it was too silly uh, I already played uh, Rivals. I actually that that actually was what got me into the platform fighter community was Rivals One, uh, but I kind of got bored of it because it was just really hard to play, um, for me at least. But yeah, Rushdown is probably my favorite my my favorite platform fighter of all time, and they they hate me saying this, but Combo Devils is so much like Rushdown. Not in the way of how crazy, like, the movement is, like, how, uh, not in the way of, like, how, you know, you can just kill somebody off of one touch. Obviously, that is not there. You know, it's more neutral-based. You actually have to do a couple touches in order to kill someone, unless they're just, unless you're, like, way too good and they're really, really bad. Um, but it's just that, it's just that the combo routes are so much fun. Like, flash-stepping is a really is a really good answer to sparking, because sparking is way too crazy. But flash-stepping has a good middle ground to where you can actually do combos, but it's not like you're just going to kill them off of one hit. Uh, the supers are actually really fun to do. I had a trouble with them at, at first, but now they're, like, they kind of become second nature. And the... And just, like, the combo routes that you can get, like, it doesn't feel like that you're going to be doing the same thing. Like, you can do the same thing, and you can win. 
but there are so many other things that you can do and it's it's just it's just amazing. That's great I, to hear. I love I love that game so much and I get it. I'm I'm on the team for it. Like, you know, I obviously it's a little it's 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 probably maybe a little disingenuous coming from me, but I do not have I do not have as much pull in the development. I have actually zero pull. I literally just make the videos for them. So I so I come into this as as like a person that just plays a game, not the person that works on it. I I just play it. I just enjoy it, and it is just oh my god, it is amazing. It is oh, just really genuinely amazing. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 what, no, what are you gonna I, say? I what are you gonna agree. say? No, 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 no. no, no. Go ahead, say it. No, no, I fully agree. Yeah, yeah. Aid <laughs> promotion. <laughs> no. My hands out. Yeah, shake it. <laughs> it's not. I mean, <laughs> But also, Stick Figures, really good game. I'm super. I I like. I didn't really have a character at first, so it wasn't like you know, it wasn't too exciting to me. But Mick Wizard looks kind of cool. But Stick Figures is also going to be very fun. It was very fast. It was very fluid. I enjoyed that. Um, I'm not excited for the mul- the future of multiverses. I'll just get that out of the way. Oof. And Rivals Two. Evil. I've already said. I've. I've already said my piece on it. Rivals two, I I'm not excited. I think if they keep the floor hugging and the crouch canceling, I'm probably just gonna skip out on it too. I I just don't like those mechanics. If but, they add rushdown revolt can- mechanics to Rivals two, would you like it? They already do kind of have rushdown revolt mechanics. They have they hit falling. <laughs> I mean, hit falling is kind of is kind of like rushdown a little bit. Like it's it's. You know, it's a fast or mechanic that lets you cancel like moves in the move, sort of. So, I mean, if they made Rivals Two into Rushdown, I would probably play it. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's like if if they took all of the mechanics from Rushdown, yeah, I'd probably play it. That would be so. F- Imagine if Orkane could do could do down air into nair into up air into up air into up air. That'd be dope. <laughs> That'd be dope. <laughs> You're eating it. That sounded awful to me. <laughs> oh yeah, it sounded awful to Two you, but it evils. sounds like a, it sounds like a time for me. Yeah, it sounds like a time. The for devil's me. work, man. <laughs> yeah, bro, you just a floor hugger, bro. Get out of here. Mm. Get out of my Hold face. Hold down. Hey. Is, is that a slur? I look, I look no. up when I'm holding down. <laughs> mm. You hear this guy? Anyway, go ahead. I I said my piece. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk about two parts, right? The first part of that that I'm waiting for in Platform Fighters is, uh, and I don't think people know about these ones, but uh, they're actually single player Platform Fighters that I'm that I'm waiting for. So that's really cool, and uh, I I should have made a video about it, but you know, never had the, don't have a lot of time, and I'm doing all I can with the videos anyway. But yeah, there's surprisingly a lot of single player Platform Fighter based games, like not just a platformer that has like a little bit of combat no it's directly influenced by platform fighters so i'm really waiting for those games i'll just say a few of them just to have them on screen for people and if anyone is interested i'll i'll give you the links but like one of them is decline drops it's like a boxer woman with like sun with like with like sun attire and she's like beating the shit out of chickens so that's pretty cool I think, uh, yeah, it's. Yeah, try, I, I'm gonna go through all of them, and I'll I'll Mondays. give you them all. We have re, we have we have Recursor, which is like a platform fighter game, single player, which is weird because it was supposed to come here beforehand. But you know, it looks pretty cool. It has a person with like Doctor Mario up tilt with like swords. That's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, this is a this is a new one. Uh, Possessors don't have a lot of information, but apparently that's also based upon platform fighters so we I have can assume that. the main mechanic based on the name <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the last one that i'll get into is uh puppet master it, it's it, it's okay it's okay for what it is it looks fine uh it has a lot of it has a lot of swordy based mechanics so if you don't if you if you like that then that's pretty cool now um for a few well, of mark finally funny- has his own game so uh i uh so you've already talked about sentinel zinc so i'll get rid of that um i think no, what no one talks about is a platform fighter does anyone know what, what that is? 
I saw this at the bottom of a platform fighter iceberg, so I have no idea. <laughs> I don't I don't know know which it's it's like it, it's like it, it's kind of like it has so much dramatic polygons for like the stages, but when it comes to the characters, oh, they look like yeah. yeah they have, like, I remember two... this. Book is Cook has told me about this. Yeah, so yeah, I don't. This... It says it's coming soon, but I don't know. What well, says this uh, on? It says this on itch.io. Oh well, I, I I wouldn't know. That's my bad. If that's the case, um, yeah, it's on itch.io, but you have to buy it. Like, oh, I get you. Yeah. Um, what's it called? This game this, on itch. This is a funny situation because the person that made Dashwalk Dueling literally said in one of my videos that they watched, they were just like, "Hey, why didn't you talk about Dashwalk Dueling?" And I was like. Oh, I'd talk about it if you release the fucking game, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'd fucking talk about it if that's the case. So that's Step one more. is hard. Step just... one is hard. <laughs> <laughs> so just, I'll talk about two more, and these are the most important ones. So I think that uh, Toho Fractured Transients is going to be oh a fucking God. banger. <laughs> it's going to be been, a banger. I've been popping off about that game for literal, like, I've I've been following that guy since he like first real realistically dude, went over it. Well, dude, I'm it comes so out next year. It comes out next year. Yeah. I I don't know. I how, guess. <laughs> I don't know how you made it that soon, but hey. I don't know how you made every single floaty look cool. But here we are. It's so beautiful <laughs> looking. I can't wait. <laughs> it's so it's 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 just pretty to the eyes now. Now that we got that out of the way, I think I want the most important one that nobody is talking about right now that I think you guys Blind would be sight. interested in. What happened? Blind sight. Cross yes, it sight. is! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said cross effect. Your mind. Cross effect is crazy. Free! <laughs> it's I, only like, I only like two characters in cross impact. Yeah, it's more than one. <laughs> There's Alex Yick and Jumbo George. I I will say the the last time that me and Leviathan played Cross Impact, oh we played God. the guy with the eye, like the uh the guy with the eye and the big mallet, and uh he I don't remember which character he played, but he hit I hit him with up air like four times in a row, and then he picked that character, and I literally could not land, and I was like, all right, may, you know maybe. <laughs> Let's let's just go play some multiverse. <laughs> After that session, uh, ex if if Rowan hates me, what do you mean? <laughs> Everyone in multiverse plays like that. <laughs> uh, uh, it's the illusion of choice see, in, in multiverse, at least. Though, <laughs> see, the reason why I'm so into Blind Sight right now is not only because they had their trailer ten days ago, like their new one, but it's also going to do a lot of things that I think um, Combo Devils is doing, especially with stage design. Like, apparently in that game, like, you have a little tiny, like, air dash, and if you mm -hmm. and if you Perfect. do it, like, yeah, like, you know about that. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I know a me lot and, about Blindside. Yeah, both me and Rowan have played it. Yeah, like, so... So it's like that that amount of detail and the fact that all of these like apparently there's phantom stages in the game that you can only get on if like you do the if you do the little like air dash into it and mm -hmm. like it, it's it, it I don't know it's like like we just talked about innovation and in platform fighters and how like you know I I don't really care too much but like shit like that is fucking amazing and I never would have thought about that I'll be honest yeah, they uh they have sidewalls which like you can go through but you can jump off of them. Like there there are a lot of things in Blindsight that are very cool. Um some of the designs are very interesting. It is a good game, don't get me wrong. It's just kind of it's just kind of not known and it's also like I think surfing kind of feels weird sometimes. Cuz like if you because surfing I think is one of those things where like like one of those uh air dash mechanics which i really don't like keep in mind where if you if you mess it up you're you're done like you're gonna get hit and you're gonna get punished for it and that, that's a really annoying skill check to deal with uh but otherwise the game is the game is pretty good uh it's a pretty good game the only thing i can say about it though is that <laughs> i remember i remember whenever they put out their first uh 
their first trailer, they uh they kind of view botted it, but that's kind of you know that's kind of low key, low key, low key. Uh, they, they, the game is game. Yeah, the game, hey, game, <laughs> game is game. The game is game. No, no, literally, like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blame them. You know, whatever. You know, game is game. Got to do what you got to do. But I remember a friend of mine that saw the trailer and it had like. 10 views and they're like oh yeah man they've just released the trailer and then i clicked on the video and whenever i clicked it it had a hundred thousand views i was like ah uh, hmm, interesting <laughs> okay that video i think got taken down because of that but <laughs> you don't it's understand funny, but youtube hey, impressions <laughs> but hey you know game is game you know whatever i mean you know maybe maybe that wasn't view about it maybe they can prove me wrong but uh no that was just really funny but otherwise the game is very good it's good it's just not as big and I don't like a hundred percent think the surfing mechanic. Like I feel like it could be a little bit better. Probably, I would say so. Um, I would, I I would talk about Panzin. Problem is, there's barely any information, so like I can't even bring it up in good consciousness. So that's the uh, that's the three D platform fighter with a from little... Texas. Wait, from what? Texas. Say say the name again. Yeah, pan- I got the I got the link. Give me a sec. I'll put it in general. Okay. He made a video about it like two year, one year ago. Yeah, no one cared about it because I suck. That's I care. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, there you go. Right. The three D platform fighter. Yeah, so he got my IP. He IP grabbed me. That's nice. He uh, IP. Yeah, so it's like a it's, yeah, it's a little video? platform fighter. I I talked to the uh, there's no videos unfortunately. They're getting that out soon. Uh, I talked to the guy. I talked to like the guy sometimes, uh, the the actual leader about it a few times, and uh, he's doing what he can. He just got um, actually. Let me not let me not say that in front of everyone. Uh, he he's just dealing with a lot. Uh, not bad stuff, good stuff, but he's dealing with a lot. And apparently soon uh, we will get more like things that we can actually sink our teeth into. But yeah, I, I hear think... soon a lot from you, and it's stuff for soon. Yeah, maybe oh, no. like uh, two more years. Yeah, I'm looking forward. To it. <laughs> Listen, man, I think it's gonna be good, and they and you you would get more information about their Instagram on their models and things like that. But I truly think that in like two to three years, they'll probably release a lot of a lot of stuff like a, like the release date and shit like that. But who knows? Who knows? We'll figure. And you it said out. I was doing paid promotion. Oh my mm. gosh. There's not, even not... Anything, there's not even anything about this game yet. You're like, mm-hmm. there's a like, website. Yeah, this game's gonna be amazing. This game. I was gonna I say, there's gonna be like a, be there's gonna be like a pop-up box at the top right of the video. Mm-hmm. Here's the link. Here it is. It's gonna here's be a, a credit card. <laughs> it's, just an, it's just like... a credit card swiper. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Put in the three shiny numbers on the back, and you can get yourself a paid promotion mm-hmm. for Panzer. <laughs> No, this looks pretty cool though. You yeah. ain't gonna you ain't gonna say shit when it releases, dog. You ain't gonna say I shit. Guess. I guess. I don't <laughs> like the fighter, so. I'm gonna say everywhere Neo sent me. <laughs> so okay, so wait, you're saying a you're saying a 3D platform fighter? Isn't that just an arena fighter? No, 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 no. Like 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 two two point five D like ultimate two point five D like ultimate. That's my so, so, then, so then or is it so wait? Then is it a so then, what is it? You said that it's a 3D platform fighter. So That's my bad. Style. Not my not our style. Oh, our style. Okay. Two point two point five D like Smash. Okay, so then it's just a platform bad. fighter. You're a platform fighter. Shut wait, up, Rowan. Wait, wait. You come here and you say this out. shit in my realm. I'm just trying to figure out what you're saying. I was uh, like, I was like, 3D platform fighter. That's just the. That's just an arena fighter, I guess, with platforms, I suppose. Uh, do you want me to talk about a arena fighter that I like very much? So that's pretty oh, cool. Oh God, no, please. <laughs> what do you stand, mean? I can't stand arena fighters. Oh, well, I, well, I, well, I like this one. What is it's, it? it it's, it's apparently gonna, it's apparently gonna be uh with the uh you know the artist that made Digimon. Apparently he's like in it, so that's pretty cool. What is it? Can't wait for him to say Shrek Super Slam too. <laughs> no, it's not fucking fuck. No. <laughs> Actually, no, that could be that. You know what? That's a 3D platform I will platform pick it fighter. up. There you go. That's a 3D platform fighter, Shrek Super Slam. 
you ever played that uh you ever played that Billy and Mandy game on the Q- GameCube? That's a 3D platform <laughs> fighter. No. Ever what seen Power fuck? Stone? That's a 3D platform fighter. <laughs> Power Stone is a 3D platform fighter. Yeah, true. No, stop. stop Damn. Stop. Wait, stop. hold I on. You know what I, else I is want... a 3D platform fighter? I don't, Black I... Magic. Ain't that right, Lafayette? <laughs> Don't talk about, don't talk about Isn't that so a calmly. Roblox game? <laughs> don't talk about it so calmly. Oh, man. There should be some pyrotechnics and fireworks popped off every time I hear it's name. Uh, <laughs> something like oh that. Oh, my gosh. Well, uh, well, I'm glad that we've glazed platform fighters for probably an hour and a half. So uh, that I just cool. remembered one. What was the Chinese one with the over-designed characters oh, called? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, but God. they had a stage that was a donut. It was a Flash Party. party. I love Flash Party. Oh, my goodness. It's not Flash Party. <laughs> I know. If you, if you give me literally 30 <laughs> seconds, I could probably find out what it is. I kind of thought about really that game in forever. <laughs> Oh, I'm so I, excited! I, for, I'm so excited for the future of Smash Girls. I'm so excited. That game is gonna be so. That game is dog shit. <laughs> hey, that game is fucking dog shit. Listen, listen. I played that story story mode. Game. I, story mode, then come I back played to. that game for thirty fucking minutes. Had to skip every fucking scene because I wanted to actually play the game, and it's goddamn awful. Wait, you don't that... like you don't hey, like killing, you don't like killing at twenty with two four airs? That's dope. Mm-hmm. No, Rowan. Run the first of 20 against me right now. I'm in a Smash genius Girls? at that game. No. no <laughs> I'm a no. genius at that game. No, you focus on that everything. I gave it to you now online, bro. I know. We're playing Parse. <laughs> no. No. We're using no, no. Steam, <laughs> Steam Share right now. Yeah, bro. Get a grip. I'm not playing that game. Yeah. I, that would be awkward. such That'd be such an awkward game to play. Yeah, I'll play it on. I played on my fucking match. game. Anyways, um... <laughs> oh my God. I got the game. Could have been saved I got the, if I got Girls the, was good. I got the game, by the way. It's Codename Breaking Dawn. We did it. That this sounds like... Right. This shit is gonna be awful. What are you yeah, doing? I like the donut hey. stage. Because <laughs> it's made by Tencent, so I already know this. Oh yeah, Tencent's mind. are gonna... No, they're gonna make this game spectacular. It's gonna be, like, really <laughs> cool looking. Um... 20 bucks a skin. I mean, really cool. 20 bucks a skin. I mean, uh, <laughs> my bad. 20 bucks a skin, uh, and it will be cool looking. Isn't this, <laughs> isn't that big guy the character from that, like, soccer game? The NFT soccer game? Am I? I don't fucking know, am I, dude. Am I crazy? Yeah, maybe. You might just be crazy. Maybe? <laughs> I No, I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to call you wrong. <laughs> Wait, do you we remember the NFT soccer game? We know we truly made it if we possibly yeah, we have an in. NFT platform fighter. Bro. What, wait, what tournament are they playing at? What's going on here? <laughs> what? Wait, there was a tournament for this? Where? What the oh, fuck? yeah. There was, was matches? In, yeah, it was yes. in... It, yeah, it was in... It was in... Uh, what's it called? Uh, what's, that, what's that shit called? I forgot what it's called. North Korea? Yeah, it was there, but... What? <laughs> no, I'm, I, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> what the fuck? I was gonna say there's there's locals already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, if there was a locals in North Korea, would you go? I I game? no. I've already showed up. No. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke, showed. but I don't I don't want to make a joke. <laughs> yeah, I'm not allowed in there anymore. I already I already made the joke. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, you can cut this one out if you want. It. I'll cut it out if could I you, want. Could you could you imagine could you imagine <laughs> if, if the tournament is in North Korea at like Jim Con- Kim Jong Un comes down everybody's cheering and then he sees a matchup that he doesn't like he's like he gets up and he's like kill him <laughs> stop the match oh, kill him <laughs> I don't like I was it thinking- he competes in the tournament and he's automatically allowed to win every no, time. No, yeah, you, you just no, you just like, walks. He hops in a bracket. You start camping him out. <laughs> oh, he just, he, oh, he just comes around. His, he looks over at his bodyguards. He's like, "Get him!" <laughs> he just goes. He just goes to the podium. He looks at all the people. He's like, "This reminds me of my favorite platform fight I ever, Flash Party." Mm. I fucking. Mm. <laughs> I love that. Although it Wait, is look, on the same website. I'm looking at some gameplay. This looks spectacular. No. You're about oh, to God. Shield Stop. Flash Party, Neos. 
No. I just think that might be the best player in this game. I just think that I just think that it's uh, it's, it's pretty okay, and people hate on it. I just much. think it's neat. <laughs> yeah, I just think it's neat. It's neat. It's okay. It's I wouldn't say it's I wouldn't say it's the worst thing in the world. Where does where do they get all this money to make these games? It's and China. The cinematics. <laughs> I was gonna say. I don't what think you understand this, this game. This game is probably like selling <laughs> nuclear bucks. I guess, but like, how do they how do they get the money to make these games that nobody's ever heard of? I'm I'm glad I dug uh, up the source. Honestly, thing. yeah, honestly, I think it's less of a nobody's heard of this. I think it's more so that uh <laughs> that is not popular here. <laughs> I guess. I mean, like, yo, this guy just hit the most crazy combo. I could have swore that it was just a a a a. It was like a ninja storm. It was like a ninja oh. storm auto combo, but it looked it's sick. <laughs> I have to play another. <laughs> Fucking this guy's getting dashed in from me. This bro. is crazy. If I had to play another fucking phone game, I swear to God. <laughs> well, you play them all the time. You play. <laughs> oh my God! Get a grip. You play Marvel you Rivals. Have, you have more. You have more hours. Play Marvel Wolverine. Rivals. That is not yeah, a that's, phone. That's game. made my phone <laughs> shatter into <laughs> seventeen <laughs> pieces. Versus Pi. Let's see it. Just look at the start. It's impeccable. They couldn't even finish the idol anime. Oh my god. I mean, no. the, the graphics don't look bad. They Yo, look, 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 Rush, look, guys, it's Rush Star Revolt. Health bars. Let's oh go. Oh my god, bro. It's just Reyna. What is did this you, character? Did you see you what go, this bro. character just did to him? No, right? Oh my god. <laughs> crazy, Wait a right? minute. He just <laughs> threw a boomerang and teleported to it. Wait, this bro. game actually looks kind of insane. Wait, this guy is devouring him, though. Can I get a, can I get a hold of this game? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait, this game looks kind of yeah, dope. I'm going to shoot an email to Kim Jong-un. He can... Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you know Dennis Rodman? Hook me up like him. Come on, now. Yo, brother. Hey. Hey. I have something you... I, I'm in need of. <laughs> I have you know... I have you know that I have to edit this, and the editing is going to be fucking insane. That I have Jim, <laughs> Jim Jong Un just giving you dabs up. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. That's a goat. Remember, you owe oh me a favor. My God. He's you saw that super. Him. Oh my god, dude! He's, yeah, he's devouring this guy. He just mixed him up. Wait, hold on. This Bro, game is. You. This game is dope. Yeah, you're so saying I, bad things. I, 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 actually, I actually heard that this game was supposed to be on Steam, but I don't know what happened. So I have no, no other information other than that. Oh, Steam I'm, was like... I'm, I'm finding this game. Hold on. Uh, if Steam you find like, it, yeah, if you find it, call me. Oh, These two have say, their new favorite platform fighter. Yeah, thank you, guys. Like, you know what? Like, I thought I was doing this just to, just to show some love, but... I got something out of this. This is sick. <laughs> <laughs> I got to glaze more now. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. You know, it's... now it's time, gonna... be... <laughs> it's time to be. It's time to be. I'm gonna be able to talk to my old connections of Kim Jong Un and a few <laughs> other people. See if we can get some sets running. <laughs> <laughs> Honor of Kings. Why is there fight. supers in this game? Five v five mobile MOBA. Okay, well that doesn't sound good. This is just a MOBA. Wait, did they? Did they switch what the game was? No, 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 no. So so the brand of Honor of Fight, uh, oh. it's across video games. So that's the MOBA oh. version. This is the platform fighter version. That's why. I see. Well, the last think of, was code think name of, Breaking Dawn. Yeah, exactly. It's like League of, League of Legends with the fighting game. It's like it's a fighting game and it's also a MOBA. That's what this game is. Oh, are we also going to talk about 2XKO? Uh, no. No. Or are we just uh, leaving if, it to platform it fighter? It could have been a platform uh, if, fighter. If you if you want to, if you want to talk about it, go right. Oh, ahead. Are we going to talk about pool party? Like, are we going to talk about pool party? I know Leviathan. We already about, about pool it. party. I know Leviathan wants to make a video about it. But... No, I'm not. I, I, I only have mean things to say. I'm not a happy camper. That's crazy. <laughs> are oh, you going well, to make the video? Uh, maybe sometime soon. You gotta make it soon, buddy. Oh, I got two scale on my mind. Man, I already, I, I already gave my fucking thoughts on fucking pool party, and I was just pissed all the time. <laughs> what and what? Yo, one of the everyone is mean in that video. Yeah, of course, <laughs> bro. It's Talking like the comments. <laughs> you, bro, I'm just gonna. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna say it. I'm just gonna screenshot it, and I'm gonna let I'm gonna let y'all just laugh at my misery of what they just fucking said to me. 
Mm-hmm. Like I just had, I had oh shit, I I had all of that to say for like for like that game, and this is what I got. Okay, now I have it. I'm gonna put it in general now, just cause the whole server C. <laughs> bot tuber take. See, I, you're a robot. <laughs> what is he mm. saying? Hold I that. don't know. Hold after that. all, mm-hmm. <laughs> after all that, I was just like, "Why w did like, we?" <laughs> w heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did heart it. That was insane. Heart. <laughs> oh man interesting listen man i've already said my piece on it i just think that they left money on the table with that shit also you already had 85 fucking developers in it why would you leave that doesn't make sense to me i don't get it 85 i think so that's insane let me see. Let me see. Maybe I'm maybe I'm fucking wrong and I'm just a fucking stupid idiot. Well, with the name of what it sounds like, like Pool Party with the name, it kind of sounds like it would have been in the League of Legends launcher. Is what it sounds like to me. It might have been a prototype name. Maybe. Well, I don't know. Maybe. I just I just think they left money on the fucking table and the, and I wouldn't use multiverses as a reason to stop. Imagine if they named it Pool Party and had no summer skins. Well, that probably would have been the whole thing, is that it had summer skins. Yeah, I know. That it is just the summer skins. So you're telling me is that their 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 outfits are the summer skins, but you have to buy the skins of what they usually were in League. That's so fucking stupid. I mean, that maybe. I don't know. That would have been stupid as hell. I mean, maybe. That sounds it, sick. <laughs> that, I mean, kind of. You know? No. <laughs> uh, it, but what it sounds like to me is that it sounds like it would have been, it would have been in a uh, what is it? It sounds like it would have been in the League of Legends launcher. Is what it sounds like to me, just because mm. of the name. I love the League of Legends launcher. Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, I bet you don't. <laughs> I don't. 